So I just looked out the window, and there's like another train further up the track, and then there's people like digging. That's not a good sign. That is an avalanche of mud. We have to wait here. First, also known as Swiss National Day, which is Switzerland's Independence Day. Yeah, and we are now sitting on a train in La Rue, and we had a decision to make this morning because right now it is quite cloudy. It's probably the cloudiest day since the first day we got here, probably equivalent. So we were thinking our original plan last night was to go hiking up to August Mahorn which is on top of a ridge and you can see down into uh, Brian's Rothhorn or to Heart of Klum, which we were at yesterday. However, we woke up today and it is very cloudy, so I thought we could still try to go and possibly be above the clouds at the top of the summit of this mountain and be able to see the ridges, but... Um, it's questionable. Yeah and the images we saw from the webcam weren't promising. And the thing about that location is the bus runs very infrequently to that location. So if we got up there at 11 and it's completely cloudy, the next bus doesn't come until four. Yeah, so we would so just be stuck there. We, yeah, we would just be stuck. Whereas today, if we go up to Bria, or Rothworm, 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 Rothworm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a restaurant right at the train station. So. If we could just sit there and see if it clears up. And maybe have lunch or brunch, because right. that's a traditional like Swiss day thing. People go up to the top of a mountain or go up to like a farm and have brunch. We'll see if we so, will do that. Yep, but the train should be pretty cool. It's supposed to be a um, steam engine. I heard that during busy times they'll use a diesel engine, but we hope we get the steam one. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that there's not a lot of people on the train because it's a small train and it's not a great day, honestly. So maybe that will deter some people from going up there. Um, but we'll see in about 30 minutes. Yep. the Brienne's Rockhorn Bond, and I can already see that it's the steam engine that we're getting on. However, it started to rain. So I showed them our Bernese Overland Pass and it got us these two tickets on the train, round trip tickets. As you can see, there's not a single person in line to ride this train that departs at 10.45, so we have 20 minutes. The cool thing about this train is, um, one, it's a steam engine, two, the windows, like, look how cool they are. I think they open from the bottom. It's raining though, so I don't know that we'll be opening any windows. So hopefully at the top, we'll be above the clouds. We'll see. I don't know that we will be, but we'll be optimistic. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. So we're now on the train, but then this thing over here, in order to get on the train, you open this little side door and then this pops up. You can open this or you can pull it down. I'm gonna pull it down because it's raining. But as you can see, the steam engine is behind me. This should be pretty cool experience. This train, I don't know if it's original. It is, it's been running since 1892. Really? Yes. Wow, I'm sure they've upgraded the seats and stuff since then, but this is pretty cool. 
even though it's raining, I think this is a really cool experience to get on well, the train. Well, we're one of the only people on the train. I think there's going to be a few more people. There's like three or four that's in line right here. I'm excited to experience what this train's like. Melissa, yeah, yes. I have a question. What? what are your thoughts on fondue? Well, I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't really eat cheese. <laughs> Even though it is it's part of the Swiss, Swiss culture. culture. It is Swiss national day. But I don't think it's worth me having a stomach ache. <laughs> Here at the middle station called Hanau. They have a restaurant up here, but it's rainy, cloudy. You can't even see the front section of the train right now. We're still hoping. We stopped here. This is not a planned stop. The train person went and did something with the track. I'm not sure exactly what happened here, but a little bit concerning. Okay, so we made it up this hill, and now the train conductor got out, and then his assistant got out, and then she grabbed shovels from right there. So not sure if we're needing to add coal or what's the current situation here. But it does seem like this happens pretty often because they have, like, they're not paid by it. They have the tools ready. It just feels a little weird that we're just like on this incline, like, stuck here. So I just looked out the window, and there's like another train further up the track, and then there's people like digging. That's not a good sign. There is an avalanche of mud. We have to wait here. I think what happened was there is a mudslide that went over the train track. So we have to wait here until they can dig it out. So it was determined that it was too dangerous to go further up. So now we are headed back down the mountain. So our adventure was a fail. Quite the adventure though. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on, but there was a mudslide that prevents us from going up. So we are going back down, but we're going to the midway station at Planalp. But I don't know what the plan is from there. Do we wait there? Do why, well, let why, us know. Why aren't we going all the way down? I'm just kind of confused. But I have to go to the restroom, and there is a restroom at Planalp, so I hope they let me out. <laughs> Not sure what's going on, but we stopped at the middle station and then everybody's getting out, using the restroom, taking a little break. We'll update you when I find out what's going on. We're back. I got off the train. We took a long train to nowhere. Yep. Essentially. No, sorry. No, it's okay. So what It was a good attempt to go up the mountain today, but unfortunately, the weather did not cooperate with us. So what happened was, they had a mudslide up there about 10 minutes past the, the middle station, and so it just wasn't safe to go further up, and they actually had to bring a, um, like a little bulldozer on a support train to be able to go repair the track um, above where we are. So we're gonna take the train back to Inalakin and then go have a late lunch. We made it all the way back to Vengen. We got a couple of snacks from here. And then we also ran into this little like, I don't know, festival, I guess. Music festival. I would say it's a festival. Yeah, it's a music I guess festival. it's like a music festival. A very, very small music festival. Small one. <laughs> but apparently, Melissa was saying that she thinks there's going to be fireworks and a little like raid. That's what I read on the internet, but that was in years past. So we'll but see if it happens. Sorry. It is 
not the best weather. So I don't know if that'll still happen or if it already happened. Yeah, it should be later if it's fireworks. So yeah, we'll see. Breathe. Today is August 1st. And as you may know, if you are entering the United States, you need to have a negative COVID test three calendar days before entering the US. So we ordered these Abbott Binax Now COVID-19 test kits. We got six of them for $177. That included shipping and taxes. We brought two for each person just in case we needed to retest for whatever reason. So how it works is you have to download the Navika app, Navika, on your phone prior to leaving the United States. So now I've been given instructions to go to emed.com and I'm going to click start test. It says, and then answer the on-screen on questions and wait until your proctor is available. Do not open the test kit until asked to do so. So I am waiting. It's 419, so let's see how long this takes. Please log in with Navika. You are currently logged in with eMed. These are the questions. It says, this test will take about 25 minutes. Do you have the unopened test available? Yes. Are your hands washed, sanitized, and dry? Yes. You will be asked to present your ID to the eMed certified guide. Is this your first COVID-19 test? No. When was your last one? Was your last COVID-19 result? It was negative. Okay. Select all of the following that apply to you. I am going to say I was, tra I was traveling internationally and taking this test for re-entry into the U.S. What country are you taking the test in? Switzerland. Okay. Join a guided session. It's 421 and now they're trying to connect me with the certified guide. Who knows how long we'll have to wait. So while we're waiting, this COVID-19 test has a test card, a nasal swab, and a reagent bottle. And you should, I should get my results within 15 to 20 minutes. Hello, morning. Hi. Hi, how you been doing today? Good. Great, okay. My name is Juan, I'll be your test sample collection specialist for your COVID testing today. Okay, so can I have a name and day of birth of the person being tested? Melissa Yu. So now please adjust uh, your camera angle to make sure the face of the person being tested and the test box are in the frame. So show me the test box. Okay, Melissa, thank you very much. Uh, now you are going to open the test card. The, I'm sorry, the test box. There should be a sealed test card, a sealed swab, and a bottle of liquid. Yeah, remove the white. Uh, just to remind you that all the instructions for this test will be in the computer screen in front of you. Okay. So now you are going to grab the packet. In one of the corners, you see the small tear. Yeah, the, the pouch that is this ready. This one? Yeah. yeah, that one. So check for the corners. You see the tear, open it up, please. And take out the test card. Okay, Melissa. Okay, so now please open the test card and lay it completely flat, like an open book and shooting the two holes on the right side. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. And slowly you are going to add six drops in the top hole, so please count them for me. Six. Okay, great. Okay, now so please take the swab out. And now let's do the swab, so please open it up and then pull it out. Okay, great. So now you are going to insert the swab in your left nostril and then rotate it five times against the sides. Okay. And then, yeah, and then switch to the right and do the same procedure, please. Okay. Great. So now keep the card on the table and thread the swab through the bottom hole until visible in the top. So please uh, look at the image and okay. then go through to the small hole. Okay, thank you. Okay, my pleasure. So I wish you the best look with the results and thank you for choosing it. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. So now we have to wait 15 minutes. If you get two lines, that means you're positive. If you get one line, it means you're negative. Kind of like a pregnancy test. Now we're gonna, my 15 minutes is up. We're gonna interpret the results. I'll click the button and it's gonna connect me with another guide who will interpret and record my results. I do have only one line, which means I'm negative, but they have to officially interpret the result. Thank you for choosing me, man. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. 
And uh, thank you, Melissa, for waiting for your test results. My name is Jess. I'll be your test sample results specialist. Hold the test card once more up to the camera so I can see the result. Please take a moment to compare your result to the sample results on the screen. I only see one pink line at the top. All right, so uh, you can uh, wear a smile on your face. You have tested negative for COVID-19. <laughs> So now you can uh, dispose of everything. The test is now completed. Information about the test will be sent to your email. Your test results and a digital pass will be will be sent to your Navica app. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Melissa. You're most welcome. Bye. Images can be positive, negative, and then invalid. So this was my test card. I had one pink horizontal line, which means I'm negative. Once the proctor confirms that you're negative, they send the test result to your Navika app. And this is what the test result looks like. So I can show this at the airport and be allowed on the plane so I can get home.